Welcome back to the kitchen. We got another DSR Farms video for you, and we are doing a tip roast with gravy, and that's about it. Anyway, we're gonna get into it. All right, there's only five ingredients to this cook, and it's probably the most delicious roast you're ever gonna taste. Uh, you may know this by like Mississippi roast or something like that, but we got our roast. We're just gonna put into our crock pot here. And then I've got a packet of ranch dressing or dip mix. Just open it up dry and put it on top of your roast. And then I've got a half a stick of butter that I've cut up into quarter inch pieces or so. I'm gonna lay that over this. And then I've got some pepper on semi peppers. I'm just gonna put I don't know, maybe 10 or so rings in there with it. All right, and so that's a stopping point right now. We're gonna put this lid on this. Uh, I'm gonna put this on while I'm at work tomorrow. It needs to cook a minimum of seven hours. Everything will come down and cook and you'll have plenty of like beef brothy stuff down in the bottom. To that, we're gonna pull the meat out we're gonna take two packs of brown gravy mix, dump it in, whisk it up, and put the meat back in there. But I'll show you that here in just a minute. It's cooked for about 10 hours or so, just while I was at work. Like I said, it needs to go on low for at least seven hours. But uh, we're gonna get just the meat out, and ooh, it is super hot. And we're gonna put it to the side for now. And then all this broth that's in there, if you were just gonna do like an au jus kind of thing, you could put just one pack of gravy mix in it, but I'm making mashed potatoes and I want a little bit thicker, so I'm putting two in here. Just gonna dump these in the broth and then just whisk that together, shred the meat and put it back in there. All right, so I got those two whisked in there and it's all nice and thick gravy and then I got all of this roast shredded up. I'm just gonna dump this in on that gravy and mix that together. Okay, I'm just gonna kick this on warm for about 30 minutes or so and work on some uh, bacon wrapped green bean bundles. All right, so I've got some rasher bacon from DSR Farms too and that is like back bacon. If you'll look here, you can actually see like where the pork chop would be, the loin here. And I'm just gonna cut this in half and we're gonna wrap the uh, green beans in that. And so I've got just cut green beans, two cans of cut green beans here. And I'm gonna take a slice or a half a slice of bacon and five or six green beans, maybe, maybe more than that, somewhere, whatever fits. And then roll them up and let the edge overlap a little bit and then we're just going to set it flat down in the pan like that and I'm going to use up all my green beans and we'll come back in just a second. All right so I got all those wrapped up and they look like fantastic and stuff but I'm about to make them better. So I've got a stick of melted butter here and I'm going to put just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce in there maybe a half a teaspoon or so and then usually when I make these like my wife she'll put a third of a cup or so of brown sugar and a little bit of garlic powder but I've got some spicy meat massage you know for massaging your meat and being all spicy and stuff and it's mostly brown sugar but it's got like a little little kick to it and it's all smoky flavored and stuff and I actually want it so I'm gonna put that in there instead and see what we can come up with so I'm just gonna get this mixed in and then dump that over that <laughs> All right, so I've got this, and I put just about another teaspoon or so, maybe a teaspoon and a half of brown sugar in with it. I'm just gonna drizzle this over all this. All right, I got all that spread out on this, and I'm gonna pop it in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes and let that bacon get good and crispy. All right, so I'm gonna do some mashed potatoes. I've kind of got this hacked up a little bit. I went ahead and peeled these and I cooked them in the microwave. They're all like fully cooked, like baked potatoes and stuff. I'm just gonna slice them up really small. And then they've cooled down, so I'm gonna cook them, heat them back up on the stove. And I'm just gonna throw in a half a stick of butter that I've sliced up, a good heaping tablespoon of mayonnaise, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and milk, and then just blend them up till they're smooth. 
All right, so the cool thing about cooking these in the microwave first is you can cook these potatoes in about 12 minutes, which I feel like you couldn't get water boiling really good in 12 minutes. And then uh, all I've really got to do is bring everything back up to temperature and blend it. And uh, should be good to go. And everything should be finished about the same time. All right, there you go. Everything got done. Those uh, sat for another 30 minutes or so while that was cooking. And then I was mashing those potatoes up. And that is just a fantastic looking plate of food right there. And we're about to dig in. Hope you all enjoy.